Did I find anything good in Colorado with my family for the holidays? Well, you're about to find out. Let's get started. So I did do a December haul and the video came out on Christmas, but I did film that earlier in the month so that I could be ready for that. So a lot has happened from then to now. In that video, I did do a little bit of tease about picking up some special bottles when traveling to Colorado. If you have not seen that video, I will leave a link to it right here. I did mention that it's not Pappy or BTEC, but these are nice and aged like those bottles. So let's get started. Let's do this. These bottles I picked up at a little liquor store called Freedom Liquors in Colorado Springs. It is a small store out there, but they have a lot of barrel picks. I've tried quite a few of their picks and have enjoyed them all. Also over this time, I made friends with a buddy there named Wes. He is super cool. Every time I go out there, we spend at least 30 minutes talking about life, whiskey, and just everything in general. It's always a great time and I really enjoy it. These are the bad boys I picked up out there. So on my previous trip out there, he had given me a heads up that these bottle picks were gonna be coming out and coming out very soon. He didn't have an exact date, but he knew they were coming out pretty soon. He said these were some of the best barrels he's ever tried and they do a lot of barrel picks. So he's tried a lot of barrels. Like a lot, a lot. He showed me his taste notes on his phone and just reading them in my mouth water. So I was super pumped when he had called me and said, hey, the bottles are in. He was also kind enough to put some aside for me till I was able to get back there and pick them up. So I do appreciate you, Wes. So let's look at these bottles real quick. These are all Art of the Spirit. This is a 19 year old straight bourbon whiskey. This was not part of that pick, but it was a charity event up there for the police officers in the area. So of course I had to pick one up and it's a 21 year old bourbon whiskey. This one is Christmas of 68. It's the 19 year old straight rye whiskey. Now, when I was up there, I did pop this bottle open, had a few drinks with my family out there, really loved it. So picked up another bottle so I can bring that one home and leave that one up there. So when I'm up there, we have some good drinks to have. And last but not least in this series, Oppenheimer, 26 year old straight bourbon whiskey. So you can see all of these have some age on them. I have, you know, two 19 year olds, a 21 year old and a 26 year old. So all of them have some good age. I opened the rye whiskey up there, really enjoyed it. He said, it, he said this was one of his favorites, that's why I popped that one open when I was up there, just to have a you know a few sips with the family. We all enjoyed it too. So looking forward to these. I don't think I'm gonna be doing any reviews on them, but if you're ever in Colorado Springs, look it up. Freedom Liquors, it's a great little liquor store. If Wes is there, talk to them, but everybody there is so friendly, so anybody you talk to there would be fun to talk to. And see what they have. Look at their little store pick sections. Kind of big, but they have a lot there. Um, I don't know if you'll be lucky enough to pick one of these up if you're anywhere near there now. Uh, I think they'd sell out pretty quickly. Let's put these to the side here. Now you can see why I was pretty excited about getting these. Yes, they weren't BTEC. Yes, they weren't Pappies, but they're nice and aged and for a good price. And I was able to grab them off the shelf. He had some put aside for me, but they still had some on the shelf when I left there, except for the 26. Also when I was there, I picked up this bad boy. 22A, Stag 22A. I've been hunting for this one, hadn't found it. We can be hunted, trapped. And believe it or not, this is the first time I actually pay MSRP for Stag. So once again, thank you, Wes. Without you, I keep paying overpriced for these. As you see, we did crack this one, we're out there too. Why not? Holidays with family, what better time to you know pop open some bottles. Another pick I got from them is this Yellowstone. And you can see it says Doc's pick on it. So funny story with this. So last time I was out there when we were talking about these bottles, this was one of the store picks they had just gotten in. I, uh, he gave me a sample of it and I thought it was really, really good. Um, so I bought it, opened it up over there with my son, had a few drinks out there. I was flying home so it, because it was open, I didn't bring it with me. But the next day when I was home, I was still thinking about this bottle, still kind of craving it. I crave all the time, constant craving. <laughs> and then I also noticed that it is Doc's pick. Has nothing to do with me. I didn't pick it. They were actually talking about Doc Holiday when they did this. I'm your huckleberry. But what perfect. Doc's pick, I enjoy it, it's such a good bottle. So when I was out there, he did text me, hey, did I let you know that this bottle was in and that we got this bottle just in? I was like, what bottles are you talking about? So when he texts me, these are the bottles he had. How do you pass that up? I was like, no, I've always wanted a midwinners. I did happen to get one just earlier in the month, but it was, the one I have is Act 11, Scene 11. Now this one's Act 11, Scene 9, right? 
Does that make a difference? I haven't looked it up yet. Do you know, does, does that scene make a difference? So let me know, is it something that I should be comparing? Should I be doing a blind with them or is it just the way they number them, you know? So let me know. Now this one, I've been hunting forever. I've been wanting, they don't drop in my area. They don't drop anywhere near me. I don't even know if they do come to Texas. So when he offered me this, I was excited. I heard it's a little bit different because they told me that, you know, this might be just a, a Colorado drop. I am not sure. I'll have to look into it more. So this is something I am going to be reviewing for sure. So of course, sharing. This is the way. So another Colorado series bottle is this. 291. This is their E series. Batch 12. Their E series is their experimental series. Such a good series. So much fun with it. Um, I got to try this way before when I did, uh, actually it was on my son's birthday. We all went to the distillery, had a great time out there. This was one of the bottles we tried out there, bought it on the spot. And we still got some more to go, believe it or not. For Christmas, this is one of the Christmas gifts I got. Really like uh, single barrels. Haven't tried many of them, but each one is so unique and different. They're fun to try. Also brought this bad boy back with me. It's another Colorado whiskey. Um, my son and my son had bought this for me when one of the first times we went out there. We had popped it open, drank some of it. Because we were driving, I was able to bring some of the open bottles home. And this is one I don't see in my area, so I wanted to bring it home to try it, to have on my shelf and you know give myself a pour every once in a while. These next three are a little bit different. So when I got home, I had some boxes here waiting for me. Always excited. That's like, you know, a Christmas after Christmas kind of thing, right? Come home, some surprises. My buddy Matt from Iceman Can't Cook sent me a package for Christmas. It was amazing. Some chocolates and some other stuff in there. But he sent me this gin, right? Look at that. He says it's a distillery up there that makes gin. So he sent me this. The only sad thing, and I can't, I don't know if you can see, yeah, there you go. You can see it there. So I don't know. You can see it right there. It leaked. Leaking? What's leaking? That's all I have left. I didn't even get to try it yet. So I need to figure out what am I going to try that with? Should I drink this neat? Should I make one cocktail out of this? Well, let me know in the chats below what you think. The next two bottles are from Storytime Distillery. So the first one is the Old Bones Aida. Now, I did a review on this when I did the other Old Bones review. I kind of compared them. I only had a sample of it at that time. So we did do um, some winners for this and those will be going out as well. But I finally got that bottle in. So when I was in Colorado, he called me and told me he has a special bottle. So this is that bottle. If you look at it, it's 13 years old. And look at the proof. 143.68 that's not 143.6 that's 0.68 very very specific oh it is hazmat yes so if you watched my live the other night we actually popped this open we weren't planning to we had such a good time we just kept the party going and uh, popped this one open Go to we, just got we, just pop. Yeah, we even did a giveaway of this one so my buddy Nathan from Everyday Drinker, he actually won that bottle, so he'll be getting that soon. I would just text him today and congratulate him that he won. And he's super excited. He hasn't had a hazmat yet, so he's pretty pumped that this can be his first hazmat. Let me know if you guys want me to do a review so we can share some of this as well. This is my last bottle I'm going to be sharing with you tonight. But last but not least, right? Last but not least. The thing is with this one is I was pretty sure I got one, but I wasn't 100% sure. It's in my hands now. I got a purple top. It's only a six year, I believe. Yep, a six year purple top, but the barrel number is 2232. So if you guys know me, you know that 22 was important to me and that's how come I, I got it. Um, but I also have the weeded purple top. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna do a blind with that one and this one and compare them. So never had purple top before, never had either of those purple tops before. Um, so I'll do that and I will compare them. When I got back, I had another package, right? Cool thing is this was sent to me by Chris and we have a blind. So the key's in here. I'll be doing this blind soon. It will be only my second double blind. I have no idea what's in here. I have no idea what the rules are in here. Nothing at all. So that's gonna be fun. If you didn't see my first double blind, did do so well with that. Um, it was very interesting. Very interesting. Very different. And uh, I think I got my butt kicked a little bit, but fun, fun and interesting to do, always fun. What do you guys think? What do you think about my haul? This is from, you know, right before Christmas to now. 
I think I got a lot of fun, great stuff to do. Let me know, out of all these, what would you like me to do reviews on? That way we can share as well. I already told you I'm gonna be doing a blind with the uh, the Willet and also possibly buying with the Midwinter's Night Dram. Lots of fun things, need to figure out a uh, drink or if I sip this neat uh, because that's all I have. Matt, it's the thought that counts, I really appreciate that. Thank you for joining me on another journey down my whiskey rabbit hole. I appreciate you all. Cheers until the next one.